Beloved, today's video is made possible by our good friends at Simply Safe, where there's no safe like Simply Safe. Welcome back to building your very uncozy cabin. Can you guess what's inside the box? Brand new little box arrived with dovetail joints. This is the world's biggest Forstner bit. <laughs> I don't, I think the biggest one I have is one inch. This is two and a half inches, and this is the final piece that I've been waiting for to finish, excuse me, I guess we're still going through puberty here, to finish the rail for the cozy cabin. Now, this is going to be used because I need to make a custom mortise, not for this one, but for a bigger one than this. This, I don't even know why I'm holding this. Goodness, I have two different mortises going on. Let me take you upstairs, it'll make more sense if I can show you. Today, Lord willing, will be the final day of working on this handrail. My goodness, this has been challenging. The problem, the reason why it was so challenging, because I don't have a clue what I'm doing, and fortunately, Jaylon from Metal Lark, who built this, who originally did the kit for this, Metal Lark, Lark Log Homes, Watch my video of me groping about. My problem was that tying that corner in, that was really, really a pain. He showed me a much simpler, or explained to me a much simpler way, which is what we're gonna be doing today. So the problem I ran into, now we are repurposing all of this. This was supposed to be for the front rail. I didn't want it on the front rail because I think it's too heavy, but it looks really good up here. So I only problem is I only had one post with double holes in it. Now, since these, I'm taking these pieces here, I'm taking from outside to bring up here, I need to drill holes in this corner post. And that's what this great big old, what I do with it? This great big old Forstner bit is for because, do you see where those logs go in? We have to drill these. We have to put that and one of those right here and drill these guys out, just like this. Hopefully, is it the right size? Oh, good, <laughs> two and a half inch, that's pretty big. Uh, so we'll be doing that right in here today and hopefully I can get all that lined up. Now, the big problem has been this. Man, tying these things into this 12-12 pitch has been very, very challenging. And you can see on the other one, by some, God's grace, I was able to actually do a halfway decent job on there, but you can see it actually turned out really good and it's very strong, but oh, trying to guess and figure all those angles was tough. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna pull this all apart. We're actually we're gonna cut this one last one, pull it all apart, put it back together, and then use that angle. Well, let's just, get, just do it. So let's go downstairs and cut our last piece. Oh goodness, look at Mount Fuji. Brand new. Blanket of snow, that wasn't there before I left. The snow will be down here soon. And this is the last picket that I have a custom cut on. I've got my mark right there, so that's the long point. Of course, 12-12 is 45 degrees, that makes it simple. I got this right. Oh, look at that. Oh, I forgot me level. Be right back. Reassemble the rail. Don't be stripping out on me, you Philistine. Putting this back together, it's not without its own <laughs> challenges. I assure you. As you can see, it's not an exact science. <laughs> so, uh, so by lining these guys up, now this would have been, I 
Then I have to kind of guess everything. You have to keep your pencil straight. In theory, that's our angle to perfectly match up with the roof. We'll be using our excellent Japanese gaokucho large pole saw, and I think I can do it. So I want to cut right on that line. And keeping everything straight and square is going to be paramount. Well, beloved, it finally happened. Someone very close to me, not too far from here, has suffered a home invasion while he was home. He did not have a security system to warn him that he actually had intruders in his house. I was called and asked if I could give him some advice. They knew that I had a security system and what I recommended to them was to get a Simply Safe system. We've been using our Simply Safe system for since 2019. Uh, we pay for it just like everyone else does, and this is what we choose to have these layers of protection. Simply Safe is a security system that you can order online. You can buy it on, on, the, on the phone. It'll deliver it right to your house and you can have it installed with no special skills in usually about an hour or so. Some of the things that I like are the doorbell security camera and the outdoor cameras particularly. Simply Safe recently sent us their brand new outdoor camera with uh, what they call Active Guard Outdoor Protection. Our traditional cameras or traditional systems, they really only react after you've had a break in. But Active Guard stops intruders before they get inside. It uses advanced AI and live monitoring agents. Simply Safe cameras, they detect suspicious activities as soon as someone actually is on your property. Agents can then intervene instantly. They can speak to the intruder, they can activate sirens and spotlights. They can even call the police before any damage is really done. When my friend called me with advice on how he can be better prepared, I told him to get set up with a Simply Safe system like we have. We've got doorbell cameras. We've got traditional outdoor cameras that notify us through the app that there's any intruder. If we come inside, we have the smart indoor camera. The Simply Safe app gives you complete control over your security system. You can arm it, you can disarm it, you can see exactly what's going around on your home, even if you're away. In addition to the app, your Simply Safe system comes with a wireless keypad where you can arm or disarm and control everything. Some of the sensors we like are door alarms on all doors and windows, glass break and motion sensors. I've added a panic button for Mrs. W on her bed stand so she can activate the alarm. Our friends at Simply Safe have a great deal going this month where you can save 50% off your entire system and get your first month for free by signing up for core monitoring. If you'd like to take advantage of that, go to simplysafe.com forward slash Wrangler Star and start customizing your system today. And remember, there's no safe like Simply Safe. Seems to me we'll just put this back in its place, which I marked here with a pencil. And hopefully we can jam that pole or that baluster. Hmm. I think we should probably put a couple two by fours to hold that up there so it doesn't keep falling out. All right, bottom to bottom. Yeah, that's it. All right. Seems to me we just uh, wrestled into place here.
Okay, is that going to stay there? All right, you ready for the moment of truth? Here we go, gentlemen. The moment of truth. Before you start criticizing, you go build your own cabin, build your own handrail upstairs, upload those videos, and, uh, and show us how to do it here. Okay. Okay, we've got top here. We'll double check one more time before we drill our mortises, but I think I've got everything here in its spot and everything looks real good. So let's drill some holes. There it is, gentlemen. Don't ask me how I did it. I just did it. It was hard, but it's done. And it looks fabulous. Very fabulous. Very strong. These corners tied it up nice and tight. Put little tiny finish screws in there to hold those top rails and pickets. But very, very nice. What do you think? I think it fits really well. Let's go take a look from the bottom here. Very nice. I'm glad we put that ladder. Originally the ladder was supposed to go right here on the face and Mrs. W and I decided to push it back and come through. We lost some space upstairs, but we gained so much down here. Having that ladder land right in the middle of the living area where the, there's gonna be a bar right there, a small bar for the kitchen, uh, just, we just couldn't make it work. So that was a good call, but it made the railing a little bit more complicated. That's why I had to do uh, those returns on there, but very cool, very, very happy with that. Tomorrow, Mrs. W and I are going to load up uh, the 16-foot flatbed and my truck, and we're going to pick up the kitchen cabinets in Portland, and we're going to go by uh, the folks or the place that's milling all of our uh, all of the flooring. Uh, that they're going to put the tongue and groove on the flooring that was milled by uh, Fred at the sawmill down the road, uh, so that we have a proper floor as well as all of the trim pieces around the doors and the windows and I'm going to take you guys in there because apparently they have a pretty impressive shop and well the young man that uh, when Mr. Dry dropped the stuff off there off there to have it done last week he recognized my truck and he's a subscriber so I believe his name is Joe so Joe is going to I asked Joe would you can we bring a camera will you give us a tour of your shop and he said absolutely so uh, we're really looking forward to that and um, well I'll take you over there for that tomorrow so that's it for today. May God bless you and your families. Please keep us in your prayers, and we'll see you all on the next video.